I acted in a way that made people feel uncomfortable. It was unintentional, and I truly and deeply apologize for it. I feel awful about it, and frankly, I am embarrassed by it. Hmm. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo is really sorry, folks. Not for his part in all the unnecessary nursing home deaths. He's sorry for all the mounting claims of sexual harassment being leveled against him. But not enough to resign, despite repeated calls from members of his own party. Here now, Fox News senior meteorologist Janice Dean. She lost both of her in-laws thanks to Governor Cuomo's incompetence. Uh, Janice, my friend, uh, we continue to pray for your family. We know this is a difficult time for you. You have been fighting him to the nail. What is your response to that press conference? Pathetic, but I, I guess he is trying to keep his Emmy Award with his sad performance. I'm so sorry. And, you know, two of his um, accusers basically said he lied and he shouldn't have been saying all of that today because it be can be used against him in a court of law. Janice, how deep is this? Because it seems like from what I hear from my sources, and I've interviewed many families, not only did he go after Kim uh, and Democrats officials, but he went after victim families. He tried to actively intimidate and conceal information. He did, yes. He tried to cover up six or 7,000 deaths that happened in the hospital, like my mother-in-law. And we only found out because his top aide, Melissa DeRosa, said in a closed door meeting that was leaked that they were afraid what was happening with the Justice Department. Yes, he has lied. He has never apologized to the families, by the way. He apologized today to his accusers because he didn't know he did anything wrong. I, it's just pathetic, Lawrence. And you know what? We'll never see a resignation from this guy. His ego is too big. But I hope that his words get him into trouble. I really do. Janice, you're not a politician. You're not someone that gets involved. You know, we're, your office is right down from mine, and I haven't seen you in a little bit. But you know the saying I always say, if anyone upsets Janice, then you're a bad person. <laughs> did, did you feel pushed oh, to the it's... edge to get involved? This is not something that you do. I'm not a political person. No one knows who I voted for, but this has deeply affected my family, and I'm standing up for them, my husband's parents, and the 15,000 families that want answers and have not gotten them yet. I'll continue to do all I can to raise awareness because they deserve that. Janice, why did it take a sexual harassment scandal for him to finally apologize? Is it more he says damaging? He's embarrassed. I think it's easy for lawmakers to get on that Me Too train than to actually accuse him of the criminal behavior that I think he's guilty of. Sure. Janice, we continue to pray for you. Thank you so much for joining us, my friend. Thank you, my friend.